Somebody asked, what's the major reason for YouTube campaigns not, deliver, not delivering on uh, specific placements? Now, this is a great question because it brings up uh, a really big concept that I think is really important that we wanna really talk about in our YouTube ads for entrepreneurs. This is what I teach uh, when I talk about YouTube ads. And this is what are most people doing right now with their YouTube advertising and um, what's the difference with what we talk about when we're talking about more advanced targeting strategies and our 3D YouTube ads concept. So what a lot of people do when they start advertising on YouTube, and we can get into the video side in a second, but specifically what a lot of people do with their targeting is they're just gonna target in two dimensions. So they'll do something with demographics, like where somebody is, maybe they get into income a little bit, and we'll talk about why that's so valuable in a second. But then the other side is they just target specific placements. And it's not your fault as you know, entrepreneurs that that's what you're thinking about is, okay, I wanna just get in front of these specific videos. Um, it's because there's a lot of, unfortunately, you know, kind of second rate courses and free information out there where all they do is talk about placements. And if you're not familiar with what placements are, it's when you specifically select a particular video or a particular channel to run your ad in front of. And so let's say you're talking about videos, you would look up related videos on what you're doing and you just put a bunch of videos in. There's even some services that let you select a variety of videos. And that could be really low hanging fruit at the beginning, right? If you're doing placements at the very beginning, you target all of these specific videos, you run your ad in front of them. But the problem is, and this is what this person's referring to when they're asking, you know, what's the major reason for YouTube campaigns not delivering for placements? And the other question I hear is, you know, why are my placement ads not scalable? It's because you have a very limited quantity of videos that you're targeting. So let's say you only have, um, even if you have 50 videos, right? You select those at one point in time, and maybe the videos are hot then, but over time, the amount of people who view specific organic YouTube videos will decrease. And so there's new videos that pop up all the time on those same subjects, right? And so you're only targeting a very small subsection of all the videos on YouTube. So you can get that low hanging fruit, but it's very hard to scale. And sometimes the campaigns don't even spend because you're really just selecting very specific, very narrow targeting for your videos. And odds are they're the exact same videos that everybody else in your space is targeting, especially if you're using one of those platforms where you go in and you can kind of select. Um, and, and, and those do work as intended, but the problem with some of these placement platforms is they're only showing you the very, very tip of the iceberg. Placement ads are a good place to get started, even though, you know, in general, we actually recommend our clients start with our 3D YouTube ads approach, but placement ads are not what's gonna scale your, your YouTube ads up long-term um, because you need thousands and thousands of video placements in order to do that, constantly recycling them. What we prefer is what we call the 3D YouTube ad strategy, uh, which, um, you know, for, uh, for, for Yashu who asked this question, that's what I wanna explain to you. So the problem with the placement ads, which is your main question, why are they not scalable? Why are they not spending budget? It's because you're trying to really only shoot for a very small um, window, right? There's, there's a very small you know, amount of scalability there when you select only a small amount of videos. And so with 3D YouTube ads targeting, what we say is let's actually take a little bit of a broader approach to the, the videos that you're running, but then layer on top of it these audiences and affinities and the demographics to create the perfect triangle, we call it three dimensional YouTube ads targeting to pinpoint the buyers, the prime buyers right in the center. So the other mistake a lot of people make when they see that placement ads aren't scalable is they'll go too broad. What they'll do is they'll just target keywords, right? So let's say with placements, you're targeting you know, specific videos on you know, how to get sales, how to get leads, whatever it happens to be, right? It might be videos, you know, specific videos on how to grow a fitness business or whatever, whatever you're helping people with. Um, but then you realize, wait a second, this is too narrow, I'm not able to scale it. So then you start doing some more broader keywords, just like marketing, things like that. But the problem is those keywords are too broad and there's nothing defining who that person is. Are they actually a buyer? Are they actually going to purchase from you? And so essentially when you have that, um, you're now only targeting 
you know, this broader audience. And so results go down. And so people get worried, then they go back to placements, but those aren't scalable. And that's where a lot of people run into issues with YouTube ads. So what we do is we start off from the beginning and you target demographics. So demographics can be the top income earners. Let's say top 20% income earners, whatever it happens to be. Let's say you have a high ticket or course based product, right? Top income earners. And you combine that. And by the way, this is real household income. Unlike Facebook, which hasn't had that for a couple of years, it's real household income. You combine that with people that are watching specific videos, but a little more broad. So not placements on specific videos, but more keywords. So let's say there's certain keywords that you have um, on YouTube, right? With people who are looking up how to get more leads, how to get more sales, how to get fit, how to grow a fitness business, how to grow a gym, whatever it happens to be that you're helping people with, right? Those are just a few examples. Obviously there's an infinite number. And then layering that with who that person is, and this is the third dimension that a lot of people miss out on or don't even know you can do with YouTube, which is those affinity audiences, URL affinity based on websites people have visited in the past or similar sites. Uh, you can actually build a custom affinity. So you can actually put in keywords like click funnels, you know, Kajabi, whatever it happens to be to get people who are, you know, let's say in the online space, but you can also do different ones as well. And then you can even target people based on custom intent so what a web, uh, Google searches that they've done in the past. So if they've searched in the past for certain, you know, specific uh, Google queries, like how to grow my business, how to get leads, how to get sales on Google, and now they're watching a video on YouTube and they're in a top demographic, then you're creating that three dimensional approach to your YouTube ads and you're pinpointing that perfect person every time. And that is why placement ads, they're a good gateway into the world of YouTube but they're not the scalable campaigns that you need. And that's answering that question uh, that Yashu had, right? Those are not going to be the scalable campaigns um, that are going to get you to, you know, to seven figures, eight figures, whatever it happens to be that you're looking to scale your business. Really, even with those campaigns, it's pretty difficult, you know, to scale past the hundreds of dollars, you know, a day in ad spend. And some people, depending on your niche, you might not even be able to hit that. And so that's the first thing we'll dive into there.